God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So y'all, this is it. This is the last day of our third and final series of the first quarter overwhelmed with the weight before i continue i want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for really participating hitting me up talking about it i just appreciate it y'all so much because i know that god is using all of us especially in this hour in really unique ways i never really know what he's going to tell me to do so i try to get in there and do it as soon as possible but I want to be able to um, serve you guys as best I can. And in this season, this is the way in which he wants me to do it in this capacity. So I will be telling you guys about my latest journey. And the link for that is in the description. It is posted on my lifestyle page where you can learn more personal things about me. But I will tell you what I'm endeavoring on. So I'm excited about that. And maybe you can come and participate and you can join me on my Patreon. I will still... Let me be clear. Nothing is changing at YouTube. Y'all know I post every day on my community page. Y'all know I still have gifts, products, services. I have free courses. I have all types of stuff. I'm still doing the same thing on YouTube. It's just that some things, it'll be a longer version. And also my podcast is coming back out in April of 2022. This is going to be season four and it is going to be popping. The topics are literally inspired by you guys. It's going to be so specific to some of you. I will be personally contacting you because I'll be using some of your comments. So please be comment heavy. Always be kind though, okay? I will cut somebody in a minute, baby. I am black shorty, okay? I blocks, baby. I blocks people. So just want to be clear about that. Now we can go right back on our merry little way. Okay, so... <laughs> Again, y'all know goofball shawty in here. Y'all know how I am with this stuff. So anyway, let's get into it, y'all. So if you haven't, download the ebook. It's right below in this uh, description box. And remember, anything I tell you that I reference you to, go right in the description. I have it in there, okay? Now, so y'all, let's do a recap right quick. Let's go and recap. So we know that on day one, we talked about all these things. That was Matthew 6, 33. On Tuesday, we did Desires of Your Heart. That was Psalm 37, 5, no, 4. And then on Wednesday, we did Good Prosperity and Success. That was Joshua chapter 1, verses 7 through 9. Y'all, I'm trying to do these from memory. And then on yesterday, we did Psalm 19, I believe it was. I don't remember the actual number. If you're listening in the chat, Drop down the scriptures that we did yesterday. I think it was 19, 7 through 18 or something like that. I, I can't remember. But uh, it'll be referenced below if you need it. So those were all the scriptures we did each week. But today, I told you guys yesterday was going to be a little different. If you have not caught up, I personally would suggest that you go back from day one to all of the series in order. That's my suggestion. But you're more than willing to do whatever you want. I only say that though because it's usually a little brutal in these series. I usually be getting it, you know, it'd be pretty tough in these series. So I wanted you to do that because today I do my famous saying, I will never leave you bleeding. So today is really good because it's not based on one scripture, but it is based on at least 10 different people in the Bible. And I'm going to talk to you about a double portion. And here is the thing, y'all. This is a place where I want you to learn how to understand that the weight is your friend. The weight is necessary. And you have to go from W-E-I-G-H-T-I-N-G, waiting like the heaviness, to waiting. W-A-I-T-I-N-G, waiting. I like to call it trust waiting. I like to call it Chilling, cooling, letting God do his thing, not ignoring what he's saying, not falling for the enemy's devices, but genuinely coming to a place of peace because you're focusing on the main thing, which is what I know he going to do what he said he going to do. Now, did I get myself in position? Did I do what I needed to do to make sure that things were in order and decent the way he needs them to be? It's a requirement. If you go back two days ago, from the word on good prosperity and success, I think it was either that one or a reward. I can't remember. But I basically tell you, no, listen, like literally what it requires from you, 
Sometimes it's just positioning. Some of y'all are mad at God when he's like, yo, you mad at me because I didn't pull a trigger. But I told you six months ago to move to a new town. And you've been crying for the last six months about your husband, but your husband in that other town, but you don't want to listen. Or he's telling you, hey, listen, you've been wanting to open up this bakery since you were 13 years old. I keep trying to tell you, don't leave your job yet. Because in two months, you're going to leave out to go get some lunch. And you're only going to be on that side of town because you're at that job. And when you leave to go get that lunch, you're going to bump into somebody. Literally, they're going to drop their bag. Their card is going to be on the ground. And you're going to see that they have exactly what you need so that you can leave that job and open your bakery. But you're too busy trying to leave the job prematurely. You have to understand something. God is handling you with so much care. He's doing something very specific for you. Okay? Now watch this. When it came to receiving a double portion, y'all, in Bible times, it was accomplished in a lot of ways now. Okay? Just like he does with us, it was like that. Many times, y'all, when we're waiting on the Lord, we have no idea what he's planning for us in the wait. He's like, listen, if I wanted to just give it to you, I would not have put the weight in place. Y'all, we keep skipping the common sense parts of these things. I was a victim of that too. And it's like, well, wait a minute. If the Lord didn't give it to me and he is the creator of all things and he can do anything whenever he wants, well, he obviously must not want me to have it now. Bet. Okay, then. Let me just go ahead and do whatever else I need to be doing until that comes. That's common sense stuff to us, but oftentimes we are so enthralled is so unnecessarily emotional while we're waiting who I'm talking to. We start to miss that part, right? Now watch this though, this part, y'all. The word of God is filled with stories. So that's what today is about. Today, I'm not roasting today. I did a little roast. Might do another little roast on the end, but not doing a whole lot of roasting today. Today is a good day, okay? All of the days were good days. It just felt like a roast because you just had to get the scales off your eyes. I'm your sister, your sister in Christ. I'm supposed to do that for you because I do it for me too. That's what I love about being able to talk to y'all. I'm not talking down at y'all because we all in the same gang. You know what I'm saying? It's just that I'm just up to bat in this season to put it out there, right? So we all have to understand, yo, all of these stories we heard back in the day, they ended up getting a double portion, okay? They did. But most of them were waiting on God to do something. And guess what else, y'all? I got I to gotta pull something out the trick bag for y'all. Guess what? They were all overwhelmed too. Do I need to get on Sarah and how that little thing just got so impatient? She just went get a whole, make a whole other baby. Had her husband make a whole other baby and then had the nerve to be mad when a girl had a baby and she still ain't have one. But she did that. She did that. You talk about overwhelmed. Okay, so 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 okay. Let me I, let, let me break it down because I'm getting excited. So let me let me give you all some encouragement. I'm gonna give y'all a few people, and I want y'all to know. I'm gonna show y'all what happened to them. Now, a lot of us who are waiting, you're listening to today's episode about a double portion. Oh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. If you have not seen all the other episodes, I think you should stop and hit the link in my bio. I mean, excuse me, in the description. And go ahead and listen to the other ones to get caught up. Now, let's get back to this. So, listen, they all had to wait. But, God, who Lord, y'all know when that weight is heavy. Now, watch this. No matter what your situation is like, y'all, he blesses everyone for different reasons. And y'all ready for this? In different seasons. Now, I want y'all to check out these scenarios I'm about to tell y'all about. About people you've all heard before in the Bible. But I want you to understand that they all got a double portion despite being overwhelmed with the weight. So the reason why I saved this one for today is because I broke down to y'all how God is not Santa Claus and how a lot of people are frustrated and angry at God and they did not follow the instructions. So this is what I want to also say to you. I don't think I, I don't think people quite understand this part. So I hope that it's clear the way I break it down to you. Okay, hear me out. A lot of what's happening, guys, it's not that you have to do these things in order for it to happen. If God said it was going to happen, y'all, it's going to happen, right? It's going to happen. But where the issue comes in, okay, 
is that when you are not ready and in position to get the thing that you're supposed to get, you cannot access it. And if you do it out of time, or if you are frustrated and you are making the process until it gets there a horrible situation, not only for yourself and for others, then all you have done is added a burden to your life. And when that promise comes, because it's still going to come, whether you're obedient or not, because it's God's promise, not your promise. It's still going to come, but then you're going to have to have a burden to deal with because you didn't do what God told you to do. That's why many times there are situations, y'all better catch what I'm about to say. There are situations where you are dealing with what appears to be a burden. When it came into your life, it was a burden. And let's say you have to connect with somebody else and that person they didn't do the same thing you did. So they don't have to pay for that burden. That's your burden to pay for. Do you know what God will do? If you have to encounter that person and you still have to carry that burden when you go, baby, God will make the burden that you carry and that person that you have to encounter blessing. <laughs> Woo! What could be your burden? What could be your Ishmael? It could be somebody else's blessing. So what I need you to understand is this. Despite everything I said this week, despite everything you might've thought about while you were waiting, God is still God. And the same foundational text that I've been telling y'all from the beginning, each one of these are foundational scriptures from Monday till today. They all led with putting God first. You always had to put the Lord first. That was the only way the access was going to come. Not because you did it, to get a rise out of him, not because you did it for, for a personal reason, but the whole point of why I think God wants us to really understand the waiting process, y'all, is because it's so incredibly amazing when it's God's doing. Now, let's look at another situation from that same bloodline. Watch this. That same bloodline that didn't have that consequence. Now, you want to know what happened with Isaac? Isaac was the one all the hoopla was about. The daddy was about to kill him. The mama wouldn't make the brother on him. I mean, it was just crazy. But y'all want to know what happened to that young man? That young man got blessed because when it was time for him to be married, he had the right people around him in his ear. Okay, go back and read that for yourself. That was a grown man. That man was 40 years old. He had the right people in his ear. It's going to jack you up if you got the wrong people in your ear. It's going to make you cut off and miss your blessing. You better watch that. Been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. But watch how I'm, I'm trying to show y'all what this waiting thing, all of this stuff is connected. When it came down to Isaac getting his wife, his daddy, who was wise, said, hey, I'm going to get my trusted, my, my trusted partner to go over there and he's going to go, he going to go get your old lady for you. He's going to go and get who you need. She was all, she fit all the requirements. He got her. She pulled up. He was like, whoa, y'all, the Bible talk about how. They was just it. They just had the, the connection. It was everything. I mean, it was everything when they got together. It was beautiful. It was incredible. And guess what? God blessed it. Because that man waited until he was the right age, until he was the right time in his life, and he let God do it. You don't hear him talking about all through the scriptures, oh, Isaac was upset. He needed a wife. He wanted, No, they just said, boom, he needed a wife. It was time. Let's go. Let's get it. He got it. And that's the part I don't want y'all to miss. That's why I wanted to save this until later, because a lot of the people that I'm going to mention, you know they had problems. You know they were frustrated. You know they had a problem with waiting, right? Now watch this. The multiple ways that God gave a double portion, the reason why I'm giving you these different examples is because I want you to understand that you don't need to be looking at what somebody else is getting right now. And you don't need to be looking at what they're doing. Number one, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. So don't be admiring and wanting something that you see and you don't really know what's going on because you can be admiring something the devil is doing. But it, they, they got, oh, Jesus, oh, the Lord, oh, Lord, the Holy Spirit. And knowing the whole time they're doing something that's displeasing to God. So don't get caught up in that. That's the first reason why I'm telling you this. And the second reason is this. I want you to understand something. If God is no respecter of persons, then baby, you can slip and put your name in this, in this blank too. You can write out your own uh, sentence and you can see what God did. Now watch this. In the Bible, the firstborn received a double portion. So how about with nobody named, if you're the firstborn, if you listen and you know you're the firstborn, 
God gave a special blessing to the firstborn. And I would like to believe, especially because there's an only child and there's a firstborn. Firstborn, of course, has other siblings behind him. I do believe, I'm not a firstborn, but I do believe that firstborns are very special and they have a calling on their life for leadership because when you have to watch and, and, and take care of your siblings and those under you, that might not be something that you want to do and it might feel like a thankless job. But to all my firstborns out there, I just want to give you a shout out because I know it's probably not always fun. I was the baby. I was the only girl. So mm, y'all know how I was cutting up. Because <laughs> I mean, again, it, it, you, I mean, clearly the baby, the only girl, what? All them boys older than me? Y'all please, boy. Y'all already know what time of day it was. So I, I love my big brothers. I love them all. <laughs> <laughs> because I know like it's not always easy. So I wanted to say that too because I felt like some firstborns out here needed to hear that. All right, so after the firstborns, I talk about Hannah. Hannah received a double portion because God loved her. Joseph received a double portion because he had favor. All of the, You can go back and get the receipts and go read them. Elisha Got a double portion because he asked for it. Some of y'all don't have the double portion while you're waiting because you're not asking for it. Come on. Elisha did it. That's a cheat code, baby. He gave you the cheat code. He did it. He did it. And look at how God blessed him. Look at how God blessed him. Okay, now watch this. Now Job. Job got it because he endured. So some of you who are frustrated with the weight, you have to endure because your enduring is connected to your double portion. Come on, some, go share this with somebody, please. Go share this. This is going to really help you stop tripping about waiting. You just got to sit with it. Okay? And guess what? Isaiah got a double portion. Because the shame that was meant for harm, God meant for good. So God blessed him. Woo-hoo. Man, look, y'all, look. Did, let me say that again, okay? When it comes to Elisha, he got it because he asked. Job got it because he had to go through. Stop trying to go through, y'all. Stop, stop trying to not go through. And my favorite, Isaiah, because the shame that was meant for that boy. Do y'all hear me? Some of y'all done got played. People done drank. Mm. People dragged your name through the mud. And you couldn't defend yourself. But God gave Isaiah a double portion. Because the shame that was meant for him. God meant for good. Some of y'all, I got chills. Some of y'all listen to me right now. You are going to be blessed two times over. Right in front of the people who said you were never worthy of the blessing. They got people word cursing people right now. Oh, they not this. They ain't got that. They did. Okay, then. God bless them. And y'all know, let me give you the disclaimer. We ain't with that over here. We, we don't do no witchcraft, prayers, no soulish. No, we don't do that. Let me be very clear. When I say okay then, I'm saying hear me out. My daddy don't play about me. So you need to be real careful how you put your mouth on me. And I can say that with confidence because I don't have to leave and go say, ooh, I pray this happened to them and I wish that shoe <laughs> not robbing. No, sir. I will not. All I got to do is say, Lord, you got it and keep doing the work of the Lord. Keep doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And if you want to know the truth, I got in to have the crap I was getting into over the years because I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. So I could be like, oh, my God, I can't believe that happened. I didn't do that. Girl, go sit down somewhere. You should have been doing what I told you to do. That's why the enemy took the, the enemy took you to play with because you took me to play with who who I'm talking to. Who I'm talking to. I took God to play with. So the enemy played with me. Please hear me out y'all. 
And let me give y'all the last one. Y'all know why Zachariah got a double portion, even though he still had to wait? Zachariah got a double portion just because he had hope. My boy just said, you know what? Against all odds, I'm still going to keep hoping that what the Lord said is going to be, is going to be. I wanted to break down all of those different ways God gave somebody a double portion, not only because he's not a respect of persons, but y'all, no matter what you are waiting for and no matter how overwhelmed you may be, God has you absolutely covered. I need you to turn to Jesus Christ, y'all. For every weight in your flesh, there is a reward in Christ. You got to understand that. I pray that as you move forward, that you find unending peace in the Lord while you're overwhelmed with the weight. I want God to bless you and I want him to keep you. But I don't want you to be silenced by the enemy because you're too caught up in your flesh being mad at God. Because God is not giving you something because he knows it's not time. I just want you to take this with you before we ride out. You are absolutely, incredibly wonderful to the Lord. You already covered. The fight, the battle, the war is already won. Dry your tears listening right now. You still going to get your double portion. You still going to get your double portion. But I need you to know. All of this was put together. All of this was brought together about your weight. All of the heaviness and the pain you've been carrying is because you got to direct the negativity and the weight and the frustration to the right source, not to the father. The very thing that's trying to relieve you of the weight is the very thing that you're frustrated with that's going to help the weight stop. It's going to help the thing come to pass. You have to recognize that you are not mad at God. You are either mad at yourself for not doing what God said and you still have to wait because he has to do it in his ordained time, whether it's now or, or later, or you are putting that energy, you are putting energy that's, that's given to you from the enemy who is sent to make you look at God the incorrect way. This is what you have to understand. You have everything you need. I do not ever want you to think that you are so inadequate and so imperfect. And I know Robin, I'm waiting, but I don't know how to stop. Don't you dare beat yourself up. I just named almost 10 people right here who got the same struggle you have. They had the same one, but they kept it pushing. And for multiple reasons, God bless them. So we, we gonna do it one more time to ride out. Many people got, somebody got the, the, the double portion because God loved them. Another because they had favor. Another because they asked. Another one because they endured. Another one because somebody tried to set them up for the okie doke and God said, who touched not my anointed one and do my prophets no harm? So I'm going to give them the d double portion just off a of GP because you hated on them and you put their mouth on, you put your mouth on them. And then he gave it to somebody because they had hope. My friend, you're no different than them. Stop beating yourself up. And you might be overwhelmed with the weight. But God ain't done it. He ain't through. Love on yourself. Trust who God said. Reset yourself. Reconnect to the Father. Get yourself back in order. Not because you, you begging for God to bless you. He's going to bless you. But because you're going to get in position for him to do it. And when you get in position, that W-E-I-G-H-T is going to leave. While you W A I T. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Oh, God hits.